Well, the meeting was a private meeting between Kim Davis and her husband, Joe Davis, and Pope Francis. Uh, no other people were in the room other than uh, Vatican uh, staff, the photographers, the security. It was a private meeting just between the Pope and the Davises. And uh, the meeting occurred on Thursday afternoon at the Vatican Embassy in Washington, D.C. Well, the, it was a, a brief meeting, but the uh, Pope said uh, he wanted to thank her for her courage. And he also specifically said to stay strong. He asked for Kim Davis to pray for him. Uh, she, in turn, asked uh, the Pope to pray for her as well. And so it was a meeting in which Pope Francis held out his hands when he asked her to pray for him, and she clasped his hands, and uh, she said she would. And she, in turn, asked the uh, Pope to pray for her, and he said he will. So it was a very cordial, very warm uh, meeting, a brief meeting, but uh, one that had significant meaning for Kim and Joe Davis. Well, I won't go into detail as to how it was arranged, who arranged it, and all the behind uh, the scenes logistics, other than the fact to say that it was a meeting of a private nature between the Pope and the Davises. The fact that the meeting occurred and that he gave encouragement and asked her to stand strong and to encourage her is much more important than how and the details as to the fact that the meeting came about. <laughs> I think how she felt is, who am I, Kim Davis, to be able to have this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet with the Pope and she was really moved by the presence of Pope Francis in terms of his caring, kind, uh, and loving spirit. And I think that has uh, greatly impacted her, and it will be an event and a, and a moment that she'll cherish uh, for the rest of her life. Well, for Kim Davis, our goal has always been from the beginning and will continue to remain that her uh, deeply held religious convictions are accommodated. I think we want uh, nothing more than that for Kim, and certainly that's not anything more than what Kim wants. She just wants to be able to do her job, which she loves, serve the people whom she loves, and serve Jesus, whom she loves, without compromising any of those.